Okay. I'm on. Yep. All right. Hey, uh, came and made try. Stephen Duck Steel, Cumber Guy Martial Arts, coming to you. Uh, happy Monday. I'm doing something I don't normally do, and I'm going to be recording this video for you on my way in uh, because my amazing morning uh, took a little longer than uh, anticipated, and because there was just so much good in it. And uh, but I got an important uh, meeting at 11 o'clock, which starts an amazing day at KMMA and an amazing week. And by the way, public service announcement, I do not text or look at my phone. I don't normally use my phone at all when I am driving, but uh, I do have my beautiful wife, Barbara, holding the phone for me on the way in today, and I think we'll be okay. Now listen, you may have already perceived that I am just full of energy today, and because I'm so full of energy, I know that it's going to be an amazing day, an amazing week. By the way, this is an exciting week for Krav God Martial Arts because, of course, we got testing all week and, uh, and to include the black belt retreat at the end of the weekend where, you know, the black belts come out and spend the whole weekend and, and those that want to be black belts are going to different degrees. So we got our black belt retreat and our Krav Camp this weekend, and that's exciting. Uh, we got all kinds of exciting challenges and things to do this week. I am... Uh, planning to, to, to give a job offer probably to a new program director. I mean, they're just so much good stuff. But I share all that just to tell you that it's not any of that stuff that's got me so excited. It's exciting stuff, but that's not why I'm so excited. And you know that I always try to make sure that I bring value when I talk to you. So uh, so, so I so I was, actually while I was shaving my head after my exciting morning, I was thinking about, okay, why, how could I share this magic, how to, how to have this kind of energy? And I realized, that it really comes down to just two things. It's the second one I want to talk most about, which is the power of ritual and having the right rituals. But the first one I'll just talk to you real quick, and that is this. You know, our, we have to have passion, purpose, goals, a vision. We have to have a vivid vision a, and a purpose that pulls us. And that's step one, right? Like without that, you can never discover this level of energy because yeah, we, we are created to be moving in the direction of what's important next, to be moving in the direction of wildly important goals, weeks. And so that is number one is, you know, hopefully you're listening to this, you have some of those. Uh, maybe there could be a useful exercise where you just sit down and, and, and identify. Maybe it's remembering. Sometimes some of my most powerful stuff is remembering something I forgot. So, so remind yourself, what are my important missions? And oh, by the way, if you happen to be a leader like me, it's important that we are sharing the vivid vision and the mission and the goals with our teams for the team and the organization, but also, of course, helping them accomplish their goals. So this is number one. In order to have enough energy, we have to be tapped into worthy goals. But number two is the power of ritual. So it's it's what I did between seven and, uh, you know, I'm going to say seven and 11. It's not 11 yet. That first meeting that I'm on my way into is at 11. It's 1047 right now. But the point of the story is that what I did was, you know, I got up and I started with my six phase meditation. And after that, I had coffee time with Barbara where we continued our vision. And we, we talked about the week and we talked about our long term visions and we talked about our visions for the day, which I had already begun with the meditation. And then, and then we watched uh, Cameron Harold. We did a, a, a quest this morning we learned more about the vivid vision and it was really exciting because I've already written my vivid vision for the next three years which I've shared with my team and we're all fired up about but Cameron uh, was talking about um, I forget what he called it but it was about you know okay now what do you do what are all the different ways that you that you live this vivid vision and you take it into fruition and reality and and, and I took three really powerful notes that got me fired up and uh, then I went on my walk uh, my morning walk with uh, Sassy and uh, we, we, we were humping fast today because uh, Barbara says that, that, uh, that Sassy has a hard time when I'm listening to Grant Cardone because I was listening to the 10X Mentor from Grant Cardone and getting fired up on, on some other things. And uh, so Sassy and I were walking fast. She's resting now. Uh, and, uh, but the point of the story is that throughout the morning, I exercised my mind, body, spirit emotion. I got in state. I, 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 by making sure that I'm doing the things that are adding energy to me before I start my day and before I start my week, I know I will have the energy to lead throughout the week and we will accomplish all of our goals. 
up to and including amazing black belt test and, and, and black belt extravaganza on Sunday and all the things that have to happen between here and there. Now listen, this is what I want to say in closing. Unfortunately, the adverse of all these things is also true. So, first of all, we know where there is no vision, the people perish. If we wanted to, we could easily tell stories evident in our world today of what happens when the people perish for a lack of vision. But we don't choose to do that because we know that energy flows where focus goes. So I choose to focus on the people that have vision, have energy, and are moving in the direction of their dominant goals. I choose to communicate with those kinds of people too. So I hope that this message is resonating with you. I heard something this morning where somebody said, you know, the reason why the news is so negative isn't that all the news is negative. It's that that's the thing that the people pay attention to. That's the thing that they share. That's the thing they want to give the energy to. Well, hey, let's not be those people. Let's give the energy and the attention and focus to the people. Man, I got I got a retired doctor in his 60s t- testing for his black belt this uh, this weekend and, uh, and lots of other amazing success stories. A friend testing for his fifth degree. And we got a fourth degree that grew up in my dojo so with four and a third degree. Like those are the kinds of things we should be giving energy to, the amazing contributions that they make to their world and life, right? Talk about those things. Talk about vision and talk about positive accomplishments. These are the things we should give our energy and attention to. And when we do, we get more energy. So that's, that's number one. And number two is the same thing with the rituals. Now listen, I don't think anybody on purpose has rituals that sap their energy. But if you wake up in the morning to the alarm clock and you hit it a couple times and go back to sleep, if you start to think about, oh my God, all the challenges of the day in a negative way, you start doubting yourself and questioning yourself right away. You start thinking about everything that's not going your way. If we give energy and attention to those things instead of if that becomes a ritual, then of course the opposite happens. What we do is take away our energy. So now we have to face the challenges of the day and the week in in a very uh, diminished state of energy, which almost guarantees a self-fulfilling prophecy where the things won't go right. Man, I don't even like thinking about it. I gotta get back and finish strong. So we are on our way to make this an amazing day at KMMA. That was cute, wasn't it? All right, well, rhyming isn't really my thing, but uh, but energy, motivation, inspiration, encouragement is. So listen, wherever you see this, I would love if you would comment and, and, and say some things. Um, you know, especially those of you that this that the, the, this does something positive for. And Grant told me this morning it doesn't matter. Even if you want to send your negative energy your way, it's still tension and it's good. So, you know, a hater happens to see this and wants to say something not happy, you can do that too. But for for my tribe, for my people, for the people that have derived benefit from this, if I've in any way added some energy to you, to add some energy to your day and your week in any way, sure would love to hear about that. All right, peace, God bless, prepare to live in power to lead. We'll see you soon.